Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to basically just be vlogging. You guys, the countdown is beginning. For those of you who may not know, I'm 37 weeks and like three days. I know. This is how big my baby is getting. Look at how big she is, oh my God. I need to put this camera down. So I'm 37 weeks and three days, I think. And y'all, like I think maybe last week or two weeks ago, no, definitely like three weeks ago, I was freaking out. Like I literally had like a mini breakdown. I was like, oh my God, the baby is coming <laughs> like so soon. Like I've just been floating along like, oh, she's just gonna come in August. Y'all, it's August. Like once August hit, the nesting, in me went crazy like i literally started buying so much stuff we had our baby shower if you guys missed our baby shower video i will link it right here we had a little baby shower which was so sweet and nice and it was just really nice to see everyone because once this baby comes we're going on lockdown okay like i'm so like i don't want to say i'm paranoid i'm not planning on being a paranoid mom but my baby's being born in a pandemic so even though people are acting like this pandemic is not a thing it still is and i'm just trying to be really really safe so i'm not really going to be around anyone when my baby's born except my husband my mom you know like we're not doing <laughs> baby visits we're not i'm sorry i have to be cautious okay like i just have to be so i enjoyed seeing all my family and seeing all adam's family it was just nice to see everyone because i know it's gonna be a while before i feel comfortable like seeing everyone in that type of setting again so basically like i just had like this i need to get my ass together moment because she could be here she could be here tomorrow she could be here next week like at this point she could come at any time like i think it's just that thought that's like whoa like we really are about to have a baby so yeah, I got my act together. I pretty much got like mostly everything we need for her. I ordered all her last minute stuff that I needed for her. Me and Adam went shopping a couple days ago and got some more stuff. Adam's not here, by the way. He's playing football. He'll be home. He could be home any minute, to be honest. We're planning on going to Ikea when he gets back. And there's a few things from Ikea that I need. Um, for our home birth so for those of you that don't know we're having a home birth i'm planning on doing a whole video on my birth plan like what i would like to happen for my birth if i post that before this video i'll link it like right here but pretty much long story short we're planning on having a home birth there's a lot that goes into a home birth and it's just a lot we had to do a lot of research we had to do a lot of planning we had to you know do some work and i really feel like it's gonna pay off last week we ordered our birth kit or no two weeks ago we ordered our birth kit and pretty much our birth kit is some it's a kit that our midwife made i'm sure a lot of midwives do this but everything is in the kit so we just all we had to do was order the kit but then there's also some other things that we have to buy on our own like plastic sheets a bowl to put the placenta in um baby blankets diapers like just things that the midwife wants us to have but we pretty much have everything i'll show you guys what our birth kit looks like one second this is like all of our birth stuff it's kind of just all packed up because i mean it's packed up i haven't really gone through this but it looks like it's just like a whole bunch of doctor stuff so we have like gauze some peroxide this is all for the midwife um rubbing alcohol there's like swabs there's a lot of different stuff in here i'm not gonna like go through it because i don't want to mess anything up like i said adam is gonna be home soon and i'm just gonna get ready for the day do my little makeup routine i'll show you guys what i've been doing all right so we're in the bathroom now i'm just gonna do my little beauty routine and like update you guys on what's been going on i've been doing like a really simple makeup look i've just been wanting to look more put together i haven't been feeling very pretty i'm not gonna lie like i love my skin i love my baby <laughs> some days i wake up and i just feel like i look like crap that's just that's just the fact of the matter but i'm just gonna wash my face i'm actually not gonna wash it because i washed it earlier so i'm just gonna wet it rinse it whatever yeah like i said we've been preparing for the home birth i just felt like i was really behind on a lot of stuff you guys like 
I felt like I should have been more on top of everything. Like, we were supposed to order our birth kit when I was 35 weeks. I didn't order it till like last week. Our midwife was like, make sure you order in advance because you know, the shipping might take long because of COVID. And I just, I completely forgot about it until last week. But it all ended up working out because I ordered it and it literally showed up at our door the next day. The shipping was super quick, like super fast, but I still should not have forgotten about something so important, you know? Like, I feel like my brain doesn't work right anymore. Like, I just forget everything. I'm so clumsy, you guys. I've spilled like three things in the past two days. It's bad, okay? It's bad. I'm gonna use some of this serum. This is a hyaluronic acid serum. I've been loving this for my face. It is so hydrating. And I even put it under my eyes too. And then I go with my moisturizer. I've been using this one. This is the Dermalogica um, Dynamic Skin Recovery. This is the SPF 50. This smells really weird. I don't know if it's my pregnancy nose. It smells really like medicinal or something. I don't know, but. It works really good. Yesterday we went and bought a glider. I've been looking for a like the perfect glider for her nursery for like probably a month now. It's very hard. You like this one? <laughs> That's kind of nice. It's actually in our budget ish. It's seven hundred. This shit go crazy. I don't think it rocks though. It doesn't rock. Sit up. But when it's uh when it's reclined it doesn't oh now we're at um clayton barrel and we're looking for a glider rocking chair for the nursery but it's kind of hard because oh this one's comfortable yeah pretty big dude. i'm trying to like imagine having the baby yeah so I was yeah no yeah you just gotta keep it going it's going back Hmm? Yeah, and then and then you can fall asleep. Like this, the other one didn't. Yeah. Okay. Fifteen bucks. Okay. Adam is very good at guessing how much stuff costs. I don't know how he does it. It's a gift. You have it is a gift. He's like always right. I'll be like, guess how much this thing costs, and then he'll guess. <laughs> He always gets it. Very close. Or yeah, you're either you, you're either on the nose or close. You want me to guess how much this is? So I asked him to guess how much the bunny costs. Before I touched it, I was thinking 15 bucks. No. But it, now that I feel it, it might be. If you get this right, oh in, my god. It might be in the 25 dollar range. Look, let's get the price. $25 range. You're you're not as close, but you're close-ish. Ah. It's a little more. For real? It's $35. Yeah, it's $35. But you are you are off <laughs> off. Definitely is right there. <laughs> wow, this would I would never pay $35 for this. This is so cute. A nice glider was something that was very important to me. I grew up with a mom who always had a rocking chair and I really wanted to have like a comfortable chair in her nursery. I didn't want to get like some cheap, you know, rocking chair that was going to break on us. So it was a long process. We finally, finally decided on one and bought it, but it's not going to be here until like September, like early, mid-September. It isn't too bad. It'll only be like a couple weeks, few weeks after she's born and then it'll arrive. But yeah, her nursery is definitely not going to be finished, which I'm I'm not rushing at all. She's not even going to be sleeping in there at first. So you guys can probably expect a nursery tour maybe like a few weeks after she's born. But I'm not making no promises because I don't know when it's going to be done. Don't know. I'm just going to do concealer, mascara, and a little bit of bronzer. That's literally all I've been doing for my face. It's mask friendly too. Like when I put makeup down here, my mask just disintegrates it. So I'm using the Pat McGrath. Labs concealer in M21. My bags are really like bad, so I let it sit there for a sec, just like that. I ordered her bassinet last week too. She will be sleeping in a bassinet in our room 
for however long we decide. I'm not really sure like when she is going to transition. I'm gonna use this Huda Beauty Skin Balm. This is a really good like lip balm. I really like it. But yeah, I don't know when she's gonna sleep in her own bed or crib, but for now she's sleeping with us. Amazon has been getting my money. I've been spending so much money on Amazon, it's crazy. Like I just buy stuff. Like the other day I bought a baby booger picker like it's just like random things that i see for the baby i just grab it off amazon and amazon is just like it's just so convenient like i don't know it's just convenient i'm just gonna take this crusty sponge and blend this concealer out I'll show you guys like pretty much everything that I have so far. I have like a lot of postpartum items I've been trying to stock up on just so I'm ready for that as well because um, even though my main focus is the baby, I'm definitely going to need, you know, my own little after baby regimen. So I'll show you guys that in a second. I've been loving the Lula bronzer. It's really great. The one in caramel. So after my um, concealer, I just take this and bronze my skin just like that. And my nose, because my nose is huge. I got a pregnancy nose. And that was way too much. I swear my nose is like ginormous. Adam thinks it's pretty normal looking, but I swear it's huge. I swear. I'm gonna put it down here too, just to kind of help with my hyperpigmentation. This routine makes me look super tan, because I literally put the bronzer everywhere. <laughs> I usually add a primer. I don't know why I didn't put on a primer. It doesn't really matter though, because it's barely any makeup. And I'm gonna put a little blush too. Just a little. I always put like a dot of highlight on my nose. So I'm just using this um, eyeshadow palette and I'm just gonna put like a little dot. Just so I look like, I don't know, it just looks cute. And then I'm just gonna go with my mascara. This is the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. One, it has two different sides. And it's pretty good. I don't really have a specific side that I use. I just pick one from my mascara. All right, and that's pretty much it. Oh, I got an eye booger. When do I not have an eye booger? But this is like my little super tan sun kiss makeup routine and it doesn't make my makeup look crazy when i wear a mask because it's barely any makeup powders are definitely the way to go when it comes to wearing a mask you can still see all my like skin blotchiness down here but who cares i did my nails yesterday and these are like press-ons and my hands are so swollen i can't even fit my rings anymore but this is like my little manicure. Yeah, so I'm in the baby's room right now and I thought I'd show you guys like a couple things. Pretty much where we put all of her stuff in the baby shower that we really just don't like, we're not ready to use yet. So we have like a whole bunch of different diapers. I actually plan on using Honest diapers for her. Um, I'm not sure if we'll end up using these, but they're not in here right now, but we're using Honest diapers. Some of her little clothes, I've not washed any of these yet, but they're just so cute oh my god you guys like i cannot <laughs> she'll definitely be getting more clothes as she gets bigger but i didn't want to have like you know too many clothes but this is just all the stuff i decided to hang up i have her stroller her basket just like a bunch of stuff we're here this is going to be basically like her changing table so yeah i have not really done any work over here yet but um, oh my god, so my mom got me this this I call it baby perfume, but it's basically like this Baby scent it has no alcohol in it My mom used to use this on our clothes and stuff when we were little and it just smells like baby like if you guys know that like Baby smell it just smells like baby. I don't really know how to explain it, but it smells so Good and it's safe to use you can actually Put this on your baby as well but i don't know who would want to put their like perfume on their baby that's kind of weird but you can just spray this like on stuff you can spray it on clothes books whatever 
and it just smells really really cute and these are some books that i recently just picked up for her because i plan on having a lot of books for her i haven't really got all the books that i want to get yet but these are just a few of my favorites from my childhood the very hungry caterpillar good night moon is a staple um chicka chicka boom boom this book is from her auntie as well as this one. I guess I'll show you guys how I decided to organize or semi-organize her drawers. This drawer is pretty much just like, I don't know, it's just like grooming stuff. This is like a toothbrush grooming kit. We have a thermometer. I have the regular digital thermometer. Why won't this focus? This is the regular digital thermometer. And then we also have the one that you just like point but um, her pediatrician actually said that this is not super reliable. So we got both. This is her nail trimmer. In here, this is my only drawer throughout the entire um, dresser. This has like a whole bunch of my postpartum stuff. I have some nursing pads. This is just like a cover. I have some nipple cream, um, therapy, breast therapy packs. I have some like diapers back there and this is going to be um, a postpartum wrap that I'm planning on using and then I also have this. This is actually my maternity wrap but I'm pretty sure I can use this for postpartum too if I wanted to. I also have for postpartum, I showed this already in my, in our baby shower haul video but this is the Freedom Mom postpartum recovery kit so it comes with like a lot of things that you'll need for postpartum. This is the Perry bottle that freedom mom cells and i have a peri bottle already but i kind of just have like it looks like a regular just like a regular spray bottle um but this one is curved so it actually will like you know spray upwards and then we also have like bidets attached to our toilet so i'm not too worried about that um this is some healing foam that you're supposed to use these are pad liners they're cooling pad liners these are a bunch of um, basically like, I want to say they're like ice packs for your vagina. <laughs> basically, they're instant ice maxi pads. And there's like a couple packs of these. There's like three packs of those. Underwear. And I also have like a whole bunch of other pads and underwear and stuff too. But I love this thing. Um, Adam's sister got this for me. It's like one of my... The only gifts I got for postpartum. And I really like appreciate it because I was going to buy this for myself. This drawer is pretty much like all of her like bath stuff. I have like some shampoo, conditioner. This is the Honest um, All Purpose Balm. I've been using this for years on myself and I love it. So I know that I'm gonna love it for her too. This is some diaper rash cream. This is the shampoo and body wash from Honest that I decided to get for her. Some wipes, some washcloths, <sighs> bibs, all that stuff. Uh, this drawer doesn't really have a purpose yet. It's just some cookies in there for now. This is where I decided to put all of her like zero to three month and newborn clothes. So this is going to be like where all her onesies are. These are all um, newborn and zero to three month onesies. These are just like plain white ones. I have like a couple packs of those. These are newborn and these are three months. And then these are all zero to three months. I have some little socks. Look at these little socks. They're so cute. Oh, there's some more onesies hiding back here. These are zero to three months. <clears throat> These are just like some little hats, headbands. This is her um, dress and mittens that my sister crocheted for her. It's a cute little hat and some bows in here. This drawer has more of like her outfits. So <laughs> these are like a whole bunch of stuff that I actually haven't even looked at. This is like, some of this stuff is zero to three months. This is a knotted gown. This is so cute. My grandmother got this for her and I just think this is the cutest thing ever. Look how cute it is. Sorry, I'm like out of breath, you guys. Carrying a baby isn't easy. Got this onesie. This is kind of cute for like when she's first born. But um, yeah, so like these are all outfits, dresses, rompers, or pants. So like there's some sweatpants right here. I cannot. All this is getting washed. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this. Like, how freaking cute is this? It's like a hat and a little booty thing. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. Down here, we have like all her blankets and her swaddles and 
I have to wash all of this stuff too, but yeah, this is like blankets and swaddles. And I actually ordered a whole bunch of more blankets and swaddles and towels that um, just got delivered from Amazon. But yeah, I'm going to be washing all that. And in here, this is kind of just miscellaneous. This is like a whole bunch more clothes. Some more nursing pads down here, her little baby headphones, some wipes. These are like uh, outlet plugs and stuff. And then I have some bottles. So yeah, miscellaneous. I'm like getting so hot. I always get hot when I film. Like if, I think I just get hot like when I'm talking to the camera. Yeah, her nursery is so not finished. Um, but every day I just come in here and I just sit in here and I look at all her stuff and I literally do it every day. I just come sit in here. I'm just like, I can't wait till she's here. And this room, I don't know what it is about this room. It just feels more peaceful than the rest of our rooms. Like every time I come in here, I make sure to say a prayer. This is the main room that I make a lot in. Like it's pretty much just, it feels like a little sanctuary. For some reason, this room doesn't get as cold as the rest of the house. Like I keep a really cold house just because I'm always hot. But for some reason, it's always like, really comfortable and warm in here so i guess that's a good thing for when she comes because it's literally always warm in here no matter what but um <clears throat> i'm sure that means something's wrong with the ac <laughs> in here speaking of making salat i actually have to pray so i'm gonna pray right now but other than that nothing else is really happening the baby's moving but yeah I'll talk to you guys when we're actually doing something. Uh, yeah. You smell like exercise. Adam's making a smoothie. Some ice. Some ice? What do you need ice for? Yeah, man. That looks healthy. <laughs> Anything purple, brown. How pretty are these roses that my management team sent me on my birthday? My birthday was July 29th, me and my mom's birthday. Um, and I'm 22, which is crazy, but these are the flowers they sent. I love getting flowers, it's my favorite thing ever. I just feel so special. Oh my God, I don't even know how to say this. I'm in labor. Shut up. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but uh, we're about to go to Marshall's because we went to... We went to Ikea and it was hella people in Ikea. So we're at Marshall's now, no real reason. But I've been having like mild, mild pressure waves. That's what we call them. And I've been timing them. Ooh, who is this? Oh, that's me. Good looking guy right there, right there, huh? Yeah, that's you. <laughs> you need a water bottle. How cute are these little Things. I don't even know what these are. I don't know, it's just really cute. This is my favorite aisle ever. Oos. What about the cinnamon apple and oats? See, Adam got the mask that he can smell stuff with. Yep, it heightens your sense. Just have the regular one. What are about? Cinnamon oats. I kind of like his better though, like you can breathe easier. It can just put it right on. But it's really, it leaves a mark on your nose. That's the only thing. Mm. I want to have like a lot of candles for when the baby comes. So that is what we're doing. But it's more about the ambiance too. Like I was planning on getting a whole bunch of cheap ones from Ikea because they have them for like two bucks. But Ikea was on some other today. <laughs> I'm like the world's biggest klutz. <laughs> so right now we're doing our um, birthing class, our hypno birthing class. And Adam be playing games. He be getting distracted y'all. Hey you guys, right now it is pretty late in the day. As you can see, I'm all dolled up. It is, 
Why did I say that? I did my makeup today. I just got done filming my birth plan video. And I always, I have to remind myself to keep water next to me. Because when I talk, when I do talking videos, my throat gets so dry. I probably sound like a horse or like a man or something. I just filmed my birth plan video. So hopefully it looks good so I don't have to refilm it. Because yeah, that'd be annoying. But um, yeah, I basically just went through everything in my birth plan. And a lot of people have been asking me about it. So hopefully it helps out some people. But right now, I'm about to go get a pedicure. Your girl needs a pedicure. And I have been doing my own pedicures for about a year now. And I really enjoy doing my own pedicures. Like it's actually become like one of my favorite things to do for myself. Like a little self care time, you know? But I can't reach my toes anymore, <laughs> sis. I can't reach my toes. I think my last pedicure I gave myself was like, what was it? Like a week, a week and a half ago? Something like that. It was such a struggle. My toes didn't even come out good. Like the, the nail polish didn't even come out good because I could barely like reach my feet. And it's hard for me to twist in certain positions. Y'all understand what I'm saying. Basically, I'm too pregnant <laughs> at this point. I'm too pregnant. It's funny because my mom actually was like, I'll come give you a pedicure. But I was like, no, girl, I need to go to a professional. There's this new nail salon actually that just opened up like literally in our complex and it looks really cute so i'm gonna walk over there it's literally downstairs i'm gonna walk over there and i already have an appointment because they're doing it by appointment only because of covid and you know i feel like it'll be okay like i'll be fine when it comes to safety i'm gonna wear a mask i'm actually gonna bring some of my own like tools just because i know how nail salons are i'm not stupid i've been going to nail salon for years i know how they do even though this nail salon has was opened in the middle of a pandemic and they're, they're taking all these precautions we all know like what y'all be doing on the low so yeah i'm bringing some of my own stuff with me and i'm gonna just go relax and my feet was just look so crusty y'all it's just time and i hope it's a good nail salon because if so that's like so clutch to have like a nail salon that close bye i'm about to go get something to drink because my throat is so dry my stomach really hurts right now you guys i've been getting pressure waves if you don't know what pressure waves are they're contractions i don't say contractions so if you ever hear me say pressure waves it's a contraction but I've actually been getting like mild ones and I'm definitely not in labor. Like don't freak out because at first I was freaking out. My cervix is completely closed. I just had an ultrasound. It's closed. I'm not, I don't think, I don't think baby girl's coming anytime soon. <laughs> um, let me not speak too soon though because you never know. But yeah, I've been having like mild ones and I just feel like my body is just getting, getting ready, you know? Oh God, my foot's asleep. Y'all, I almost just fell over getting up because my foot is asleep. I don't even know what I was just talking about. I have pregnancy brain like crazy. I felt really productive today. I got two videos filmed. I filmed my makeup for Instagram. Oh, my hair is braided. I'm sure you guys can see because my freaking scarf keeps falling off. But my sister came over yesterday or the day before yesterday and she did my hair. She did knotless braids. Y'all, my sister's 15 and she can braid. Like she can braid her butt off. She's annoying as hell, but I love her. And she came and did my knotless braids for free. She did small knotless braids for me. And it took us literally two days because my big self cannot sit in one spot for too long. So we took a lot of breaks, but it was just like a, a big sleepover. Like she slept over and she, we did my hair. We watched movies. That's like our little thing. I really wanted to have like a protective style for when I gave birth. Like I don't want to have to worry about my hair that is like such a no for me <laughs> so yeah my hair is done i'm so happy lord because it's been annoying these past few weeks my hair has been getting on my nerves i need to find my mask it's actually not time for me to leave yet my appointment is at three but i feel like i could go down there a little early it's 2 45 right now and i'm just gonna walk down there i'm about to put on my mask throw on something else not this I just threw this on to film in, but I'm gonna walk down there. I'm actually gonna take my book. I've been reading this book. This is one of my favorite books. It's called A Drowned Maiden's Hair. I used to love this book when I was in high school and I recently found it on Amazon. So I've been reading this and we're gonna go have a little pamper session and then Adam's gonna come home probably around the same time I get out the nail salon. So 
I'll see what we end up doing later on this evening. All right, so this is what I'm wearing. I just changed my shirt and put on my little slides so that my toes can dry. So let's go. I just left the nail salon and I'm just walking back upstairs. Taking my time. Walking slow. I'm tired. I want another nap. <laughs> 